Hey, everybody, if you're somebody that's going down a singing path and you're trying to figure out uh, a lot of these different mechanics and how these things work, at some point you're going to run into this and you might run into it very hard. It's something called vowel modification, um, especially if you're trying to learn how to sing higher and trying to learn how to sing more what we might refer to as correctly. Um, so if you're having trouble with that, I put a little lesson here together for you. I hope this helps. Come join me and we'll talk about it. All right, now, um, sometimes when people talk about vowel modification, it can get really kind of a uh, deep dive kind of thing, and it can get very methodical of like, do this to this to this to this. And that's kind of how I learned when I followed some of these programs and stuff um, online. And um, throughout that kind of process and being somebody that's an untrained singer, I, um, I'm somebody that's never had a vocal lesson before, but I've been teaching here for over about 10 years. Um, what that means is that I had to cultivate all of these kind of different things and then keep practicing myself to see what worked best for me. And, you know, of course, sometimes that's not going to work best for everybody. But what I did find out of that is some kind of shortcuts and some kind of things that tended to have more of a lasting effect instead of, once again, the more methodical, like, E breaks down into E breaks down into, you know, <laughs> some of that stuff will help you. And if those kind of things motivate you, you know, this lesson might not be for you. And of course, I'm trying to make these lessons a little bit shorter, a little bit more bite sized so that um, you can retain some more of the information because uh, some of this stuff gets, it gets to be a little bit uh, too much. And uh, it's too much to cram into your brains in one setting. So, one sitting, setting, sitting, setting. Uh, so, without further ado, duty pants. Um, when we talk about vowel modification, what we're talking about is the necessity as you sing mostly higher notes where you have to shed your enunciation so that you can more openly maintain an open throat, but more openly sing the vowels. And what that means is that some of these vowels need to reopen themselves or open themselves back up because they might be being shut down by your jaw tension, by where you are in your range and things of that nature, uh, you know, if you're compressing, if you're distorting, all kinds of different stuff like that. So um, now people that are, you know, here because they, they followed a mixed voice type of thing and, uh, and then they're like, I'm hitting a wall, you're definitely going to hit walls. And let me try to plant this seed into your brain. And this goes for <laughs> this goes for everything in life, not to get weirdly spiritual in you or anything, but we live in a dichotomy, meaning that everything that we tend to experience here on the earth is is one way or the other way. That doesn't mean there's no gray areas in between, but most of the time you'll find that you're here and then you slingshot to the other side. With the voice, it's very, very similar in that regard that keep paying attention and being perceptive of what's happening, especially if we're talking about your placement. Your placement will, as you rise and move higher in your range, will either fall this way or you'll kind of reorient and situate yourself back this way. Bop, 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 bop. If you sing different words, you sing me. Me! Right there, my placement's falling here because I'm very close to my bridge right next to it, actually. And if I don't correct, me, me, you can hear my placement going from here to here. So you're going to find that with distortion, with screams, with... Uh, compression with uh, singing cover songs. My God, when you're singing cover songs um, and trying to enunciate the way that the person enunciated in the song, you can get into all kinds of trouble. So anyway, what vowel modification is, is kind of similar to what you just heard me do there with me. E is the hardest vowel to sing typically. So when we move up in our range, we have to elongate that vowel and move it back to a vertical kind of placement or a vertical kind of uh, mouth movement here. So E, instead of going horizontal, would go vertically. E, and it changes itself more to an A sound or an E sound or whatever you want to kind of get into. Um, and, you know, once again, there's that methodical thing like, you know, what, what should it turn into? Well, it depends on the way it feels and it depends on your stylistic approach. If you're singing opera, you might have to vowel modify and everything is very vowel modified to be very open like this all the time where everything's very, very vertical. And that's the key here anyway, verticality. Oh, hey! But if you're somebody that's like a southern country singer, <laughs> not everything, it still kind of applies, but you still might not be, oh yeah, I need to go, oh, on that next part. Like, that's ridiculous. So um, this is all part of, you know, experimental discovery, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So um, what I tended to find throughout my practices here with these things is that 
If I thought about going through a Y most of the time with most of these vowels first, ye, yay, yay, yo, you, and I added that ya, it tends to take my jaw, ya, ya. <laughs> it tends to take my jaw and remind me to go vertically, yeah, and disconnect from here. If you can imagine yourself disconnecting from the back of the jaw here, almost like a snake trying to eat something very large, um, or whatever thing you want to place into your mind that's more pleasant. Either way, we're trying to disconnect from here. I made a whole video about jaw tension and a lot of the same things and information applies here if you want to watch that. Anyway, that's my dogs playing. Uh, anyway, so we're disconnecting from here and we're thinking vertically. Um, one of the most common examples of vowel modification in terms of rock music is Man in the Box. You've heard me say this before. That note is up here. He's singing, feed my eyes. Very difficult to sing. Very difficult to sing if that's right where your bridge is or close or a little bit over. Feed! <laughs> feed my eyes! If I have any amount of tension in here, that thing happens where I'm either here, or here, here, here. That, if I'm pulling up and getting close to that, if we siren up to that note, if I start to pull any tension in here, I am done. That's it. The end. There is no amount of training, compression, strength building, really, unless you're talking about over a course of years, but it's still going to be very difficult all the time. That's really going to get you up to that note when you feel this kind of tension, you're going horizontal. Fee! Like this. If you feel that, once again, it's your body telling you that something needs to change. And that's going to be based on vowel modification as well as some other things. So I changed, just like uh, Lane Staley did, feed E to uh. So did I need to know where I was going? Eh. Did I really need to have somebody tell me that it goes from E to A to uh, you know, whatever? No. Um, in this case, I needed to change it from an E to what's more vertical. E it turns into more of an A. Sorry, I'm hearing this through headphones. Vowel modification. So let's take a couple of these. We're going to do them in terms of slides so that we're kind of opening the vowel up. I might not do all the vowels, but as always, I'm going to take this over to Patreon and try to give those lovely supportive folks a little bit more insight into this and a little bit more um, instruction and things of that nature. So... Let's take this. Remember, we're in a male kind of range down here. If you are a female following along with this, um, you might be able to do it an octave higher. So we're going to be doing these in slides. Remember, we are doing them in slides. E Let's start with E since we were just talking about that. And if you need to think about it, you're turning it into an A. Or you have to think about it like this. Take your lips when you're singing. And watch some other people do this too that are singing correctly or very good at singing. Pin them right here. Do not go horizontal. There's no reason to go horizontal. We are keeping them here. As we uh, go higher in our range or whatever we're doing, we go more vertical. We have a necessity to open the throat even more to accommodate for pressure. So, yeah. If you want to think about my little Y cute thing, yeah. And it reminds you to lift down. That's good. mix we just kind of try to follow along either way you're trying to shed tension i'm sweating like always i work out and then i run and i do all these things and then i come sit in here and then i just sweat and it's gross <laughs> so right there is my bridge a typical baritone bridge right around g4 so try to remember to keep your placement backwards instead of falling forward. Pay attention to these things. One of the best gifts I could give you out of any of these lesson videos is the ability or that kind of cognizant perceptiveness of, of what's happening in the body. Let's 
take one down here and do it a little bit more the wrong way so you can hear the difference. I'll do the right way first. E just being uh, ridiculous there that's actually what it sounds like when I pull any tension down here um, I break and it starts to get shitty if you want to think about it this way too the body has this resonance thermometer you're allowing your voice to go where it needs to go if I tend to bring it in here and bring that tension here and pretty much put all my focus on here I will notice that the elevator stops it doesn't go up any higher so I'm allowing head voice into that. I'm allowing my voice to move up where it needs to go. So let's take a couple more vowels. Same thing. Nice and simple. Let's take O. And we're just moving it vertically. O. You should be able to move your jaw. O. close to the bridge again if you're somebody that has trouble with this try to imagine yourself yawning we're keeping the throat open so if you feel like you're closing off and getting tighter once again that's your body telling you that something needs to change that change could be a number of different things <laughs> um, in this case we're remembering to yawn into the sound and move our larynx back down yawn. You hear that why Let's try one more. Let's take OO, which is the kind of the other difficult vowel to sing. We have U, which is what I'm talking about, and we have E. They push you towards head voice. They tighten up the throat in a way that makes you kind of want to go more towards head voice faster. E, because it's making everything more restricted and tiny. Same thing, but it's going to change to an O if you need to know where you're going. Uh, but if I go OO, U. Once again, I can't worry about how perfect the vowel is. I have to shed that so I can get through this. You, 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 you. Let's slow it down. You. attention there for me. You, 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 you. So I hope this helps a little bit. Remember, there's a lot of different ways that you can go about this. And when you hear people sing live, uh, other people's songs and stuff, you might hear them do these things on purpose because they heard their favorite singer do it and they were like, that's really neat, you know. Um, great example of that, a great example of that is uh, um, the lead singer of Korn. Realized I can never win sometimes <laughs> like I feel. Something takes a part of me. Um, he's doing some of those things because of stylistic choices or he might be doing them because he found some of that vowel modification stuff. But either way, a lot of times when you hear those things, they're not being done typically in a stylistic manner. They're being done out of necessity. God, I can't talk today. Being done out of necessity. So I'm going to go over to Patreon and take this lesson a little bit farther. I thank you for joining me. If there's things that you want me to cover and you're following me here, I really appreciate that. The subscribing, the the, the bell, notification, all that kind of stuff helps me a lot. Uh, my channel is uh, <laughs> it's very down in a hole right now and i would love for people to keep supporting me i'm also writing new music all the time there's going to be some of that coming out new year the new year um the new year is going to be badass folks so i hope it is for you too i hope you have a good holiday i will see you soon